Hey Gemini, this is Brandy from Brandy's Twenty Nine Tarot. Uh, this is a general uh, a general reading for Gemini Sun Rising and Venus for October two thousand and nineteen. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so. It doesn't take much energy to do that. It helps me out. The more subscribers I get, the more time I can spend on videos for you guys. You heard? You heard. If you need a more personal reading where I can actually get down to your energy and what's going on, because I'm pulling out of my hat here, um, you can get a, my email, my Etsy, whatever. Details, details. Coming to life. Gemini, number 43, 4 plus 3 is a 7. <clears throat> Not nine, 9 minus 2 is a 7. So, okay. A little conflicted. A little combative. A little worried. Maybe being a little secretive. Making your moves private. And you're really needing to get some clarity. Really needing to figure out some details of something. Okay, maybe that's some paperwork. Maybe that's something someone told you. Okay, uh, maybe that could be at a job or a new project, a new business, um, an, ex, an ex. Like, there's some details missing you're needing clarity on. Something's going to be spoken that's going to bring you to life. That's what I get here. She's like a statue and there's an orb of light that's bringing her to life of transformation. There's a lot of transformation. There's a struggle. All right. You know, there's some paperwork or some communication here. Something that's gonna it's gonna give you a little bit of a spark, a little bit of a wake up. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus please for October 2019. By the way, this is gender neutral. Gender neutral reading. Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2019. What do they need to know? We have the Hierophant. We have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Alright. This feels to me you might be spiritually confused, okay? Spiritually confused about maybe a relationship or um, because a hierophant is relationship, it's spirituality, and it is doing things by the book. And by the book is details, details. Seeking that clarity. He's holding on that key of knowledge. The crow is like the smartest bird, okay? They are, I almost want to say, all seeing, all knowing, and the bringer of death, sadly. <laughs> That's how I see them, like warnings. They warn you. Crows are warnings. Seven of Cups is many, many options, not seeing clearly. Which cup is for you? I see six of cups and I see one cup upside down. A lot of six of cups to deal with someone from the past or something from the past. Maybe some details and things were never spoken about. A cup was flipped over, which has left someone in confusion. Could have been married. Could be signing some paperwork. That's what could be releasing you from this. Okay, yeah, there's many messages coming through because this is hard when it's a general. So I get a lot of messages here. Um, there is confusion. It is a spiritual communion. Uh, this is Taurus. If you were uncertain. Okay. Give me details, details, please, for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me details, details. What flipped? What flipped? Aha! Here I was speaking about six cups. 
Six of Cups is a sturdy foundation and it's the past and there's a lot of growth, okay, because this tree didn't just stand up over time. You see all those deep, deep roots? Something you got deep, deep roots invested in here. That is, uh, I, I always go when, when it's a general reading, this could be a dream job that you always fantasized about having that you thought would fulfill you. This is a past relationship. This is uh, an ex-lover, an old flame coming back, reminiscing. There's some details that are missing in this. Maybe you never got a closure or clarity. And that's what's going to give you this. And they're going to come back. They're going <laughs> to they're going to give you a little confusion. We got justice here. So this is definitely legal documents you need to make sure you look over for someone, okay? Legal documents, marriage documents, are you really wanting to get married to this person? Are they your soulmate? Maybe that's why someone's running. Alright, give me coming to life. Coming to life for Gemini, please. Coming to life. What's coming to life for Gemini? I've seen a lot of sevens, though, and then I've seen the six of cups and the... That was my bad. That wasn't fair. The Six of Cups within the Seven of Cups. Something got tipped over. Someone kicked it over from the past. Ah, the Hanged Man. There is a sacrifice made. Someone puts himself in a pause, a timeout. This is a Pisces card. Um, you know, what's for the greater good? Is this for my greatest good? Is this for their greatest good? There's a pause, a timeout, a stillness, stagnancy. That's why you're coming to life. Someone's coming back. Could be you, could be whoever you're, you've got on your mind, or whatever deal you got on the table here. Seven of Pentacles. Put a lot of hard work into this, a lot of time, a lot of effort. It felt like it wasn't going anywhere. A lot of sevens here, folks. That means a lot of confusion, a lot of conflicting thoughts, a lot of things that are missing from the details. A lot of details that need to be looked at here. That's what I'm mainly picking up. Stop. What is the Seven of Pentacles and Hangman, please? What is the Seven of Pentacles and Hangman for my Gemini? Could be seven months, seven years. Well, five to seven months, five to seven years. You gotta let me know. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please, and this Hangman for Gemini? Seven of Pentacles and Hangman, please, for Gemini. Alright, I'll switch them up. Alright, <laughs> that is the world. As soon as I did that, it came out. Okay, so we have the world for the Seven of Pentacles and the Hangman. There was a sacrifice. You worked very hard towards something and realized it wasn't working, so maybe releasing that and that's why you're coming back to life you're finding a new spark with inside yourself okay because you're getting the details there was there's a there's a completion here you're finding something out you're finding something out you're on a definite pause like frozen in time because you never got you, you never got the details on something okay um there's there's no justice in the matter, and now there is. With a long, drawn-out pause, a lot of hard work into trying to dig through something, it's coming to a completion. You're going to find out. The choice is going to be made. You're going to feel brand new. Because your heart and your head have been very conflicted here with the Five of Swords. That is also... Um, outer like 
outer influences causing uh, issues. Okay? That is uh, fighting, immature communication, immature battles, you know, severed of heart and mind, very confused. Okay, what is the advice? What is the advice for Gemini, please? What is the advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the advice? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then I'll pull some uh, other cards. What's the advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October? Oh, people, come on now. Someone else got this. Um, ba -ba -ba Libra? Libra, I think, got these same two cards, or Capricorn did. Um, so definitely an emotional loss, something that you felt you put so much hard work into, um, so much dedication, so much time, so much foundation. It's saying that you just need to keep your nose to the grindstone, okay? Keep your nose to the grindstone. Don't, you've got so many other choices around you. That's why there's a completion here to this. You have the Mother of Pentacles, which is the Queen of Pentacles, a uh, sturdy foundation, a nice home that's coming. This is you just needing to focus on you, your home, your people, your money. Stay away from someone like the Son of Wands. Uh, hold on, I have a phone call. I'm so sorry. Okay, totally sorry about that, Gemini. Anyways... You need to be aware of someone or something that is not uh, going to stay around. Sun of Wands, Knight of Wands, it's just like a passionate night, okay? In and out. It is sexy. It will give you a spark of joy, okay? It'll bring some passion back into your world. But you will gain the clarity that you are seeking in this matter. Whatever this matter may be, the clarity, the epiphany is coming. This is the sort of truth. This is the sort of clarification, communication, and it's coming swiftly. Okay? It's coming swiftly. Let's take that away. <laughs> I found my own license. I have what this is all about or more advice for Gemini, please. What is this? Ah! The card of endings, the thief. One more, please, for Gemini about this matter. One more, please. Card of direction. The past, the future. Okay. So let's find number two, the thief. Where are you at? A conclusion is reached, a burden is removed, and a fond farewell. So that is you fond farewelling with the Five of Cups. That is the truth coming out about a matter. A fond farewell. Okay. Then we have a card of direction. It's number 19. I love how everything always comes together. Okay. Card number 19. A choice is well made. An easy path and a safe journey lies ahead. Because an ending came. There was a truth revealed which took so much burden off of you, okay? There was a lot of things that were in the details that you were never privy to until soon. Well, it's coming soon, okay? Could be seven days, seven weeks. You just found out. You're in the middle of it. All right. These are my own personal oracle deck. Tori and I, uh, Tori and I oracle. Uh, they're just sayings that I've always done, a little guidance. I'll explain them as I go. You can pre-order if you want. One just flew out for you. Let's see what it says. A legacy is born. Okay, that's you coming to life. Stepping into your power. On the right path after you gain that clarity. Okay, I also have on the bottom of the deck, music is healing. And it is. Mine is on pause. Sometimes I literally cannot get motivated or feel awake until I put on some music and listen to it for a little while. Maybe that's some information for you guys. Can I have one more, please? One more for Gemini. Something is definitely coming through. Some paperwork's going to be finalized. A new direction. 
card of endings. Hmm, that was not for you. But bold is the new you, Gemini. You're finding out something that's giving you so much clarification, so much relief, peaks of joy, coming to life, figuring out the details. You know, you made a sacrifice for yourself, you know, just tending to you, making sure everything around you is stable while you waited on this, okay? All right. Let me know in the comments below what your situation is, and I'll catch you later.